Could gas prices get any higher? Yes, they can. And it's expected that gas and diesel prices will continue to increase. Federal officials are looking for ways to reduce the pain at the pump as gas and diesel prices continue to soar. As Americans get ready for road trips, not just for Labor Day, but throughout the whole year, all drivers need some relief at the pump because everything is getting more expensive. Congress is looking at a three-month pause on its federal gasoline and diesel taxes, but that doesn't seem likely. The 18.4 cent federal gas tax, which helps fund infrastructure work, could be dropped if Congress voted to approve that. But again, they're telling us that that's not likely. They've just brought that to the floor. This money is just a small amount of what consumers pay for a gallon of gas, and that is often eclipsed by a state gas tax, which is typically much higher. The three-month pause would also reduce diesel by 24.4 cents per gallon. Again, unlikely, even if both taxes were to drop, gasoline prices would still not dip below $4 a gallon. Congressmen on both sides of the aisle are not likely to agree and reject the White House effort to suspend the federal gasoline tax. Now, why would they do this? But there is so much more than what's on the surface. But first, I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. U.S. gas prices are continuing to rise, giving drivers across the country another headache at the pump. Now, drivers once again are feeling this pinch like we had last year and the year before when fueling their vehicles, with the average price of a gallon of regular gasoline in the U.S. jumping from $3.83 to $4.60, depending on what grade. That's up nearly 30 cents from a month ago. And diesel, its average is $4.36. Again, that's up as well. Even though prices are climbing everywhere, the steepest increases are in the Midwest states, which have seen their average gas prices rise between 18 cents and to 25 cents, according to AAA. The nation's most expensive gas is in California, of course, and Washington state, where prices average $5.23 per gallon. I was just there and they were already at $6 a gallon in many of the major areas. The cheapest gas in the nation is in Mississippi, where the average price of gasoline is $3.32 two cents a gallon. To be clear, gas prices today are nowhere near the high they were in June of 2022. And when they reach a record high of $4.62 a gallon, that's when we got a real problem. But back then, gas prices across the nation were inching toward $5, and that was really cramping Americans' travel plans and literally everyone's budget. Rising gas prices are playing a major role in surging inflation Americans are experiencing from the data from the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. Typically, when gas prices increase, the main culprit is the cost of oil. And this month, however, oil prices are only part of the story. And here are three reasons gasoline prices are going up. High temperatures. We're all seeing high temperatures. And July was one of the hottest months on record for many parts of the nation, including Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and even Michigan had some very high temperatures. Phoenix, for example, had a record breaking 31 straight days at 110 degrees during the day. Such high temperatures meant oil refineries had to reduce their output, as many of them could only operate at temperatures between 32 and 95 degrees. And the reduced output sent gas prices higher, and this is all according to Andrew Gross of AAA. Rising oil prices and crude oil prices have recently hovered around $80 a barrel. That's up from $70 a barrel just a month ago. And when global oil prices climb, gas prices typically follow suit. Oil prices are climbing in part because Russia, the world's third biggest oil producer, decided last month to cut production starting in August. And yes, we're still getting oil from Russia, but OPEC has also decided to reduce oil production. It's important to note that analysts at investment bank USB expect crude oil prices to increase 85 to $90 a barrel in the coming months amidst rising oil demand. This is going to make prices at the pump much higher for everybody. Falling oil production from Saudi Arabia, the second largest oil producer, also cut its oil exports last month, and we are still getting oil from them, and it slashed production by 1 million barrels per day, hoping to keep oil prices elevated because they make more money that way. But the kingdom said it would extend its reduced production 
to reinforce the precautionary efforts made from OPEC plus countries with the aim of supporting and stabilizing the balance of oil markets, stated the Saudi energy ministry officials. You know this has to do with money because it always does. Now, Saudis are particularly keen to boost oil prices in order to fund their Vision 2030 project. What this really means is higher gas prices for us until we decide to drill more oil here and become energy independent like we had in the past. Now, even if you don't own a gasoline powered vehicle, you're going to pay the price as goods are constantly being transported by gasoline and diesel powered vehicles. That means everything's about to get more expensive. Make sure to check your budget. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be more than happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, the social media, the book, and my podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.